do that <laughs> is to have Imagination Station come in. And Dan, one of the most fun ones, is here with us this morning. And you've got definitely fun and science mixed together. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so today, we're definitely going to have some fun. At least I think yes. it's fun. Oh, yeah, um, and we're going to talk about the science of combustion today. Okay. And combustion, and you need three things to create combustion. Do you know what those are? Mm, all three of them? Uh, I would say heat. Okay, Maybe you need one. an ignition source, so I brought Perfect. a blowtorch with me. Awesome. You also need something to burn, so you need a fuel. Okay. And you need oxygen. Okay. Ah, well, we've, we've got that. We've got oxygen. The air is about 20% <laughs> oxygen. Yeah. Okay. So I've got some different things we were going to test out, and I want to focus on oxygen today. All right, I'm going to put so, my glasses on to stay safe. Fantastic. I've got some organic fuel here. Okay. And Ellen, try to combust that. Try to light that on fire. Okay. All right. I'll give you a lighter there. Okay. Doesn't seem so easy. Not so easy. I mean, even if you were to take that away and if I use the blowtorch. If you can't light something on fire with a blowtorch. We can't, we don't have a lot of combustion there, right? Yeah, and That's no. because there, our fuel is just kind of sitting there. There's not enough oxygen to get it going. Fair enough. But if we were to take that oxygen, okay, and spray it into the wow. air. Yeah, that's okay. a big difference. You get a little bit different of a reaction. <laughs> okay, amazing. I'll do one more. Wow. Isn't that awesome? You can feel the heat right now, off of that. So that's cool. because when you spray in the air, those tiny particles, they spread out and they get surrounded by that 20% oxygen in the air, and that gives you enough oxygen for a cool that's amazing. combustion reaction. What now, a difference. Oxygen you, is very important. Very important for combustion. Now, I've got something else. This is steel wool. I so, thought it was a bit of a beard. It's not a beard. No, no. No, no, no. Just some steel. <laughs> <laughs> but it kind of looks like it. It's got yeah. a bunch of tiny fibers of steel. And would you take that and just kind of gently pull it apart? Yeah, absolutely. There. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Now, steel wool will kind of act the same. I'm going to take that away from you. If you want to grab your lighter. Yeah. It kind of acts almost the exact same as our uh, fuel over there. Try and lay that on fire. Just go ahead and light it there. Ooh. Perfect. Okay. Now, normally, if you had like a big block of steel, it wouldn't burn, right? Yeah, You couldn't no. light it on fire like this. But since it's so spread out and surrounded by those, those tiny little fibers are surrounded by oxygen, it will spread out and burn. You can actually... Wow. Add a little bit more to it. Add a little really bit of our own oxygen, up. and it adds a really cool spark there. That's amazing. So if you Isn't just add cool? a little bit of air, you can a little bit more oxygen, and you get some awesome combustion reactions. Now, um, these you might be familiar. These are cheese oh, puffs. Oh yeah, who doesn't know right? cheese puffs? Now sure. these are actually pretty combustible. We can try to light this one again here. I'll let it here. Okay, it doesn't really burn that well. Right. Yeah. It's got some oils and things in there. It's light and fluffy. It's coated with there's lots of sure air too. though inside, so there's lots of oxygen there. But I think if we add some more, it might be a little it bit might more work. exciting. Okay, so okay. a little bit more oxygen might help us so out. I've so actually what do you have got in mind? right here. I've actually created my own concentrated liquid oxygen. Of course you which have. Which is pretty amazing. Only at Imagination my... Station. That sounds amazing. Speaker here. So concentrated okay. oxygen. If we look at it, wow. this is really amazing stuff. I use some liquid nitrogen to condense it out of the air. And if you get a good look. So you condense this from the air that we breathe. We actually condensed it from oxygen gas. Gotcha, but, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. okay. But you could condense it from the air. And that's liquid oxygen. It has that amazing blue color. Yeah, it looks like that light blue okay. hue. And that's because the... A liquid oxygen interacts with light in a different way, and it causes it to make that awesome blue. It's a, it's a beautiful wow. color. Now, we're going to use this oxygen, um, and we're going to add it to our cheese puffs here and add a flame and see what happens. All right, I'm okay? in. Let's do this. Are you ready? I have a feeling so, this is going to be very bright, so keep your eyes on It the might screen. be a little bit bright. Sometimes <laughs> I don't like to look directly at it. So. Oh, my gosh. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, let's do this thing. Woo. Let me light my torch here. Put my oxygen in. Perfect. Gosh. You get that amazing reaction here, and that oxygen still wow, it's keep going. Wow, it is burning. It's very, very bright, so you don't really want to look yeah, directly Yeah, don't make direct eye it. contact with okay. it. Okay. Now, it's so hot. All right, we had such an exuberant reaction there that it, most of our cheese puffs are gone, and I'm going to put out the, yeah. that flame right there. But you Burned can see, you concentrate that oxygen, and you you know, exponentially intensify that reaction. That just so. shows the power of oxygen alone. That's 
uh, amazing. But you guys do a lot of amazing stuff, not just with fire. I, I do not like just the with fire. fire. Though. So what do you guys have going on, especially this weekend? This weekend we have Girl Power. We are yep. all very excited. We've got over 20 partners coming in, including yourself. Me? Yes, I'll be there. I'm so excited. Um, and we've got a bunch of girls coming down. We're going to talk about science and STEM careers. It's going to be a fantastic. Um, there's limited availability, so if you're looking to bring your uh, young women out, uh, we still have some spots available How do you sign this up Saturday. For that? If you can go to our website, imaginationstationtoledo.org for all of that info. So. Perfect. Well, I'm so excited to be there. You guys should join us too. And thanks for, I don't know, adding a little bit of flame to our <laughs> Thursday. I like it. My pleasure. All right. Well, WTO 11, your day will be back in just a moment.